Hey guys, as promised, I'm making this video to talk about the various siege weapons littered around the Fatalis fight. These weapons are the Ballista Ammo, the Roaming Ballista, the Cannons, the Binders, and the Dragonator. Some of these weapons are commonly used in Fatalis hunts across all levels, while other weapons are only used at certain skill levels. If you plan on using any of the weapons here, save for the Binders and the Dragonator, it is highly advised that you take the Heavy Artillery 2 Armor skill, and maybe even eat for the food skill Feline Bombardier, as it will more than double your damage. Starting off the list, we have the Ballista. Ballista ammo can be found at grey icons beside the turrets on the south and west end of the map. Each of these piles will provide you with 10 shots, and with 3 piles littered around the map, you will be getting a grand total of 30 shots. These ammos are by far the worst type of artillery weapons available to you. They shoot unbearably slow, do about as much damage as a rarity 1 greatsword, and using the ballista makes you feel like a paper target at a carnival. The only redeeming quality of using the ballista is that if you have potato aim and whiffed enough shots from the roaming ballista, the ballista ammo can be used to get that weapon KO. If I had to choose between dunking my hands in hot cooking oil, or being forced to use all the Ballista in the Fatalis fight, you should prepare some bandages and salve for that third degree burn for when I arrive at the nearby hospital. Moving on to the next siege weapon, the Roman Ballista. Don't let the name fool you. The Roman Ballista is a rail mounted machine gun that in no way, shape or form resembles the stationary Ballista turrets. It is used at all skill levels, from the newest of the new to the most hardened of veterans because of its significant damage contribution and utility. The roaming ballista is able to shoot off 100 ballista shots within 10 seconds before going on cooldown. Each shot from the ballista is equivalent to a shot from the ballista ammo, but you also have the added benefit of being able to maneuver around via the rail system in case Fatalis decides to target you. To make full use of the ballista's damage, make sure the body part you are aiming for is tenderized. After expending all ammo, the roaming ballista enters a cooldown. Usually speaking, the cooldown will end once you are midway through phase 3, giving you yet another opportunity to rain steel hell upon Fatalis. The next siege weapon is the topic of much controversy, the cannons. I've seen people swear by the cannons, while others will kick you from their lobby as soon as you don the ghillie mantle and climb the rope wall. Being a man of minimal brain functionality, I went against my better logic to test out how it feels to use all three cannons. Yes, all three cannons. I spent around one minute of my time loading up the cannonballs in order to unload all 10 shots cleanly into Fatalis, resulting in an early KO. Then I immediately regretted my decision because Fatalis was KO'd without a tenderize or enrage. While I can see how a new hunter might be able to benefit off this early KO in single player, giving them a strong start towards Fatalis' health pool to unlock SOS, I find the opportunity cost of giving up an easy KO using solely the roaming ballista too great to justify using the cannons in any Fatalis run outside of the hunts with new players. As for the cannon in the corner that unlocks after phase 1, it's awful. You have no maneuverability and there isn't a good window to set up. Don't use it. Just don't. The Binder is a single shot weapon that can pin Fatalis down onto the ground. For vanilla gamers, this is as close to S&M roleplay that you're going to get with Fatalis. You will find the ammo for the binder starting in phase 2 on the two sides of the arena. The binder is fired from the same stationary turrets as the ballista ammo, and does no damage. However, upon contact with Fatalis, he will immediately become bound to the ground, regardless of if he is in flight or if he is grounded. During this time, Fatalis's head and chest are all decently exposed for players to attack and deal damage. This weapon is an important asset to have and effective at all skill levels. Lastly, is the Dragonator. After spending approximately 5 minutes in Phase 3, you will get a notification that the Dragonator is ready for use. After baiting Svitalis over the platform successfully, you can throw the lever at the top of the platform to shoot out two Dragonators. 
Each hit of the Dragonator will deal 5% of Fatalis' total health, for a total of 10% if both land. This can be comboed with a sleep status to trigger a double damage bonus from one of the Dragonators, for a total of 15%. In beginner lobbies, this is a godsend, and can easily be the deciding factor between a successful hunt and a quest fail. As you get better and better at Fatalis, you will start to see the Dragonator being used less, as there are times when Fatalis dies before the 5 minute timer to prepare the Dragonator expires. That is all of the siege weapons that are available in the Fatalis arena. Let me know in the comments what your favorite weapon is, or if I missed any important strategies for certain weapons. If you're a new player, I hope that this video has helped give you an idea on how to use the siege weapons in the arena. I hope you have a good cart, and I'll see you next time.